Hello, you beautiful people I am. Welcome back to Let's Play War of 40k Inquisitor Prophecy, where we are now are up to meet Inquisitor Mercer, but before hence we um will play we will play. We will speak with Ragnar van Winter. Inquisitor, you have a message from the Caligari Conclave. I am Inquisitor Helena Goslar, and I have an assignment for you. I am aware that you are conducting a highly classified investigation for the Conclave at the moment, although I must admit I don't know any further details. To my utter amazement, my clearance was deemed insufficient to access your records. In other words, I can't command you to abandon your main investigation, but the Conclave would appreciate if you could take another case as well. Travel to the Hive world of Atheon Prime and look into the case of the mass disappearances that has baffled the Adeptus Arbitus. In case you are wondering why you are tasked with such a trivial issue, I want you to watch a highly confidential picked recording. It was made by an infiltrator of the Inquisition, and as you will see, it proves the existence of some unholy machinations on Atheon Prime. I must also add that this recording was made 30 standard years ago. I hope I have your interest now, Inquisitor. The Emperor protects. And yes, she actually has. And that looks like a little chaos fleet. Or just three cruisers. Whatever they are going to do, it is probably not nothing good, good, good here. It would be so nice to hear actually what they are talking about, but I have a weird feeling that we are going to see or know that very, very soon. Alright, that was that. It's starting over again. We have a new clue and now we have to travel to the next location and meet Mercer. Do we already meet him right now or do we have the briefing? That is a big question, I don't remember. All right, and here we are. Uh, my arrival on Heliodor to confirm that the Shrine World is indeed under attack by an Eldari war host. Inquisitor Messers currently holed up in a secret inquisi inquisitorial archive surrounding by the invaders. My first objective is to contact the Odoxena's agent and break through the siege. Fresh out of Amasek and cigars. But I have a new Eldari contingent moving in for all your entertainment needs. These Eldar seem really persistent. It is time to combine our forces. My force, exactly. And that we will do. Where were we good to be in battle again? Um leading our little Max forward. these Eldar invaders. They have arrived with a fairly substantial force, I'm afraid. The Farseer will resort to his favorite tactics and use Wraith Constructs to get to the Data Vault. You sound like you know him very well. Actually, we go way back. And in case you wondered, yes, his heartwarming visit is related to that unique person on your ship. That is all classified. You should have informed me about the Farseer's information. Have you ever tried making conversation with a Farseer? It's like interpreting a fever dream. I didn't even realize what his words meant at the time. Alright, fair enough. So, good thing is we are now two. That is always much appreciated. So we have a little bit of backup. I want to say feedback. That would have been wrong. Now backup. That is so good. So, oh, let's focus on this little warp spider. Our bots are actually currently good, good, good. In good shape, so to see. Okay. Need a little bit more careful here. What I'm wondering, if I compare the Eldari forces right here, um, I think they have less elite choices here. That is a little tint a bit weird, but anyhow. So let's focus on the ref guard. I need to. We are too late. The turrets have been destroyed. That is a shame. 
considering my history with the Conclave, I'm expecting an awkward conversation about the fate of the Data Vault. We might still have some time, but why did the Elder invade this place? They must think that they'll find something here they can use to save their craft world. We must not forget that the Eldari are a dying race, clinging to every shred of hope. You are demonstrating almost alarming levels of empathy. <laughs> oh yeah, that never is a good thing in the Imperium. Especially with a Inquisitor of the Order Xenos confronting Xenos. But I think the story behind there is quite good. It is a lot of fun. I can already say that like the beginning when this um, DLC came out, it is so good to have fresh new you. enemies. What can I say? I have spent decades in disguise as the rogue trader captain of the good ship Storm Skipper. Turns certain things will rub off. What's it sound Navigational skills. Badly. I'm quite proud of my meticulous paperwork. And I can always find a great inn in any void port. So trash mobs are down and she's down. So Mercer is giving us um good help here that is very very good so we have a clue inquisitor mercer spent long decades as an active agent of the Coligari conclave traveling the sector in the disguise of the rogue trader captain of the white ship storm skipper successfully maintaining his disguise even on his own ship apart from the members of his closest retinue i don't know that his achievements mark him as an extremely capable agent personal weapon Addendum from the Re-Evaluation Commission of the Caligari Conclave. Despite all his memorable achievements, Inquisitor Mercer's Mercer is notably prone to acts of subordination and his blatant refusal to follow the Conclave protocols as has earned him a temporary transfer to Helidor Four as the Guardian of the Inquisitorial Archives. Um, reinstatement is still pending. According to the reports, Inquisitor Mercer maintains frequent contact with the Eldari Farseer. He must have encountered this creature. During one of the Ordok Senna's assignments, the nature of their relationship is unclear, so caution is advised. Investigation code number above and beyond. While conducting a seemingly unrelated investigation, Inquisitor Mercer found evidence of a foul treasury on Rangris. 7. A planet cut off from the Caligari sector by one of the warp searches. The threat of a gene stealer infestation made the involvement of Mercer unavoidable and the leaks pointed to the highest ranks of the local aristocracy. The most shocking revelation was the involvement of Classified, which is, which has was followed by the severe purchase on behalf of the, we don't know that, Inquisition code name, levels of corruption, after concluding his mission on Rancor 7, um, Inquisitor Mercer transferred the secured, we don't know, to the Order's research facilities on Megalom Prime. The world has been purged previously, but the Central Hive was still suffering from the aftermath of a vicious chaos plague. During his assignment, Inquisitor Mercer discovered evidence that the source of the local infection was in fact orchestrated by we don't know that. Chaos forces, obviously. His efforts to shed light on the conspiracy led some to some serious developments for we don't know that. And as a cons consequence, the we don't know was brought the to Imperial um, Justice of the Shrieking Planet and Sermon of Lies. We don't nothing. All right, all right, all right. On we go. Initiating allergy counterparts. Um, okay, I resummoned there, but that is fair enough. Going on. Your primary objective hasn't changed, Sergeant. You must protect the Alpha Pariah. With all due respect, Inquisitor, I feel that we are wasting my potential. One thing I really have to do is to stay way more in the back somehow. I am really tending to just be up front. And with this class we can't do that. Well, we obviously can do it, but as you've seen in the last couple of episodes, I was always losing HP very, very quickly and that is not good at all. So, say so, let's stay back, especially 
when we have Mercer with us, we even have more time to stay to stay in the back, just like that, and do some shooting. Although close combat is very, very quite great as well. Love it, love it, love it. On goes do I know? I don't engage all of the Eldari forces here. Okay, there's another Wraith plate. Let's take him down. That should go quickly. We can technically already resummon these guys. Resummon these guys. Can room summon. And then in the end we can already nearly resummon our close combat guys. Okay, um, I don't know where I sh I. Let's buff our units a tinsy a little bit. That is never a bad thing, I think. Okay, this that one is down. That one is nearly down as well. Where we where we splend it, so it should be. Ah, okay, no, I thought we had a little fuss here there, but no, that was actually Mercer. Let me through. Let me through. So this is their target. This data vault stores classified inquisitorial records. Judging by the classification entries, the dossier on the Martyr investigation could also be here. The Elder must have been trying to locate the Martyr. I'd rather put it differently. They have been definitely after the Alpha Pariah. Not in theory. The tradesmen are capable of cleansing and investing crop growth. Absolutely. Therefore, they will not retreat until their Farseer is dead. So that is for me a very, very um, warp spiderly tactic <laughs> that the some warp spiders just spawn in our back. That is just how I would use these units in the tabletop game, jumping around, doing the good stuff. Okay, these guys down. The little shrine there was very, very good, helping us out with our units here, buffing them and helping us to deal more damage overall. I would love to do more missions with Marissa. Want to have one Inquisitor there more is really helping out a lot and makes it a little bit more easy, I think. Inquisitor Mercer, fate has brought us together again. I wish we had met under different circumstances. This is the path we must walk. And it ends here for one of us. Um, not for us. Or not for Mercer, I hope. Let's then... Take down these units. Okay, we don't need to resummon right now. And then we can focus. Before I become part of the Infinity Circuit, you must know something. Wait, I'm initiating pick recording. We never wanted to harm that unique individual. We only wanted to take her to our craft world. You wanted to cleanse your dying world? That is our only purpose. And why did you need these Imperial Archives? I have no interest in your petty secrets. But I saw that you would come. You, the key to the Anathema Ultima. The Harlequin warned us not to take this path, but we didn't have any choice. What can you tell me about the Harlequin? She cannot be trusted. She has her own agenda. She walks the seventh path. Her fate is linked to the Whispering One. Whoever that is, I hope we are going to find that out. <laughs> to be honest, I'm a I don't know how far I played with our main Inquisitor. Um, I think we were at that point here, but I can't remember anything there, so <laughs> sorry for that. But that is in the end quite good, I think. I've answered your plea and launched a rescue operation to save you. You still owe me some answers about the Alpha Prior. I'll be completely honest with you. I can't answer your questions. Wait! Don't do anything impulsive! I know someone who can help you. And who would that be? A Harlequin. You'll be pleased to hear that you have already met her. You are playing a dangerous game here, Inquisitor. This is not a game, and we both know the Harlequins hold the key to many secrets. I'm talking about the fabled Black Library, of course. The source of all ancient and forbidden knowledge. The existence of the library is known only to a few Eldar, and even fewer are allowed to enter. 
The Harlequins are the exception. See? It was worth hearing me out. I don't like the way you set me up, Inquisitor, but I need answers. Do you happen to know where I can find this Harlequin? As a matter of fact, I do. On the planet Loriach. The exterminated maiden world of Craftworld to Athel. One of the few truly charming corners of the subsector. I can only imagine. That is my next destination then. And that it is. And we only have one thing to do. Going through the items we have received. So let's go quickly through the invest completed investigation. Craft world Eldari. The Eldari attackers originate from a minor craft world identified as Tuathal, which is slowly succumbing to a fatal warp infection in their in the wraith bone, wraith bone structure. Besides losing their most important habitat, they have also lost their maiden world in sub in the subsector Loriac. Um, in the subsector, sorry, Loraic was destroyed by Exterminators, most probably ordered by Fortwood Thule to counter the extreme Turnit invasion infestation without consulting the Caligari Conclave. Consequently, a Tuathil Eldari harbor deep distrust towards the Imperium. So, with that, we have a new perk, alright, that's nice. Melee damage when. Okay, that's cool as well. Um, do we have anything of importance here? That one is. Not bad, but not really good. This one is a little upgrade. 85, of course, is a major upgrade. I'll go with that. This one, 66, 71. No, 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 no upgrade at all. 19 damage, of course, is intense. So I'll put that there. I can. So both are 15, going to go there. Up here, so we do theoretically in close combat as much damage as in ranged combat that is pretty damn amazing obviously or race very very nice okay i think the rest actually technically theoretically is not really that much all right guys well then right now leads us to the end of this episode and you know it i as usual really thank you for watching if you guys actually have enjoyed this episode then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully hopefully i'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.